WD18, the Watford Fans Channel here for another match preview. This time we are looking ahead to the Hornets' it's clash against Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday afternoon, a three o'clock kickoff, live on Hive Live, the new Watford streaming platform uh, for all of our games this season. As there are currently and still are for the foreseeable future, no crowds inside stadiums. Uh, so don't forget to go and buy your match pass as well for that if you'd like to watch the game. Uh, before, of course, we get into talking about the specifics about today, let's have a bit of a recap in regards to our last two matches. The first one, of course, last Friday against Middlesbrough. Uh, a 1-0 win for the Hornets at home in the first game week of the championship season. Uh, goal by Craig Cathcart um, and an encouraging performance from Watford. I think I've heard a lot of people after that game saying the, those, those two key words of job done, really, and it was a case of job done. And of course, you know, we come away with the three points. Lots of prob lots of positive performances there. I think I look at the likes of Domingos Kina, uh, Ben Wilmot, and uh, Jao Pedra. I think those three in particular. Cathcart, though, an old-timer getting the goal for us as well. Which is, it just proves how crucial some of those squad players may end up being um, this season. Um, although actually I call Cathcart a squad player, he looks like he's going to be a regular starter for us this season. Um, and of course midweek, a one all draw against Oxford United as well. Ken Summer, King Ken, as he's now affectionately known as, um, of course getting the equalising goal after the after Watford didn't play particularly well really throughout parts of the game. We finished the game with 10 men, with Martin Navarro going off injured and um, the Hornets having used up all of their subs. Uh, but of course we won 3-0 in the penalty shootout and what a performance that was by Daniel Backman. Um, saving us during the game and saving, I think, I think it was three penalties in the end, um, which sets up a, I'm going to say third round tie, uh, I was right, uh, third round tie against Newport County. And of course the draw for the fourth round was made yesterday and the winners of that game will be playing either Morecambe or Newcastle at home. So a chance for us to either play League 2 Morecambe or Premier League Newcastle at Vicarage Road in the fourth round if, of course, we make it past Newport, which will be quite a tough game anyway. But back to championship action. Uh, we head for our first away game up north to Hillsborough to take on Sheffield Wednesday. Um, a side that, um, of course, have struggled off the pitch um, throughout in the pre-season, of course. They were given a minus 12 points deduction. They've clawed back three of those points. They won 2-0 last weekend against uh, Cardiff. Um, they've got some actually quite solid players, I think, in their team. I look at the likes of Jordan Rhodes, um, old-timer Barry Bannon, who's been there for God knows how many years now, uh, Kadeem Harris as well. They've got players that are going to be able to cause um, us a lot of problems. Um, and they're ultimately going to be motivated. They've got a massive deficit to kind of recover, and I, f I feel like they'll be able to do that throughout parts of the season as well. They're not going to make it easy for us. Um, Gary Monk's a tactically astute manager, and I think he'll have those guys very well. Um, very well set up as well. Of course, Gary Monk's had experience that you're playing against Watford as well. Of course, when well, I think he was Swansea manager. I kind of hope those two times coincided. But um, either way, I'm sure, of course, as I think the press conference has happened already, uh, he has said that we're going up against one of the division's favourites. So, you know, that's kind of all the motivation that he needs. In regards, I think, to their team news, uh, I think I've seen anything one problem for there. Shane Dunkley, I think, is going in for a, or Che Dunkley, I should say. Uh, is going in for a late scan. Um, apart from that, he's got a fully fit squad to choose from. Moving on then to Watford's team news. There's lots and lots of different permutations at the moment. Um, Ishmael Asar and Craig Dawson are two players that have been considered for selection. Elsewhere, of course, the likes of Etienne Capu, Gerard Delefeu, Roberto Pereira, Danny Welbeck and Andre Gray are all still unavailable. No real time frames given around them. Um, one time frame that has been given is the um, return of Will Hughes, which won't be until the middle of October, a big miss for us, um, a really big miss for us. I think Hughes and Saar were the two big players that I look at in the squad. Hughes, yep, big player for us. Um, we're going to miss his presence in the midfield until he's the middle of October. Bear in mind that's the time which we'll be coming back to training as well. So whether or not he starts instantly, I don't think that's going to necessarily happen. Uh, and of course, two other players in this team, Troy Deeney and Luis Suarez. Troy Deeney targeting a return for the next couple of weeks in time for the Luton game, uh, which. <laughs> Should be interesting to say the least. Uh, Luis Suarez as well, another guy who's been causing a lot of interest. It'll be very interesting to see whether or not he's involved this weekend. So looking ahead, of course, to the game on Saturday, by way of like a prediction of what I think is going to happen. I think it'll be a tight game. I don't think it'll be quite as wide open. I think as some fans are predicting that it will be. Sheffield Wednesday are a tough team. Uh, Middlesbrough were quite tough as well and you know I think on another night Middlesbrough could well have taken a couple of their chances as well that they had I ultimately think the team that we put out will be very reminiscent of the team that I think will carry on 
this season, closing in on the end of the transfer window now. And I think um, Vladimir Ivic, I'm sure, will be looking at the players that he has and kind of determining a squad from those players. So players, of course, that will stay. I feel like there'll be a lot of youngsters in this style and side, a lot of under 23s. Um, I feel like a lot of them are going to be making up a few places, I believe, just in, in, in and around our team. But we'll see how it pans out. I think we'll win the game, though. I'll go, I'll go with a 2-1 Watford win. Um, not, not as nervy, perhaps, as the Middlesbrough game. Um, I, think, I think it'll be relatively comfortable. But you never know, as the saying goes. There's never an easy game in the Championship. There's never an easy game in football, actually, in general. So we've, we've, we've got to be on our guards and, you know, Sheffield Wednesday will be more than more than aware of our threats and they'll be looking to counter that in the best way they possibly can, of course. And ultimately this game is just a pre it's just a prequel to the massive match we have um on Saturday week against Luton Town. That's a massive game. That that for me is that is a proper derby game. It's a, it's, a, it's a derby game we've not had, you know, when we were in the Premier League. That is a huge game. That is the game that we really want to win. Um of course, we want to win every game, but there are some, I would argue, this season that means slightly more than others. Um, and let's just hope we get the result on Saturday that will lead on to some good momentum for midweek and ultimately into next Saturday. Don't forget to like this video um, and don't forget to subscribe to WD18 if you haven't done so already. We're in for a very busy season. Don't miss out on any of the content. Have a good weekend and I'll speak to you guys very soon.